Grant Gilmore yeah. now here. You guys doing all right? I think it's we're so okay. far, we're okay. <laughs> we're trying. So far, this okay. time change has us all <laughs> whacked out. What time is it? I don't even <laughs> That's our bedtime. Yeah, uh, uh, the wind, I think, has stopped finally. Yes, finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wind's dying down. Temperature's coming up. That's what I like, right? Uh, not so much tonight, but tomorrow. Uh, we'll really see the winds die down. Temperatures back in the mid-60s. In fact, it could be the warmest day of the year so far tomorrow. And then we're going to add on to that almost another 10 degrees as we go into the middle of the week. Right now, not bad. 48 degrees under those clear skies. Winds, I'll take 16 miles per hour. It's a lot better than the 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts that we've had for the last couple of afternoons and evenings. Uh, 48 in Philly, but 46 in Trenton up to the Lehigh Valley. Not bad either. 45 right now in Allentown. Skies are clear, and boy, have they been clear for the most part all day long. Maybe a passing cloud here or there, but overall, high pressure, which is centered right over the Appalachian Mountains. That will keep us with the sunshine, and it will eventually begin to give us a little bit more of this. Look at that surge of warmth all the way through the Midwestern states. Kansas City, 61, 59 in Chicago right now. Still on the cooler side of things, but we will see that warmth build as we head through the coming days. Watch as we go into the overnight. Skies stay clear. Temperatures will gradually cool back down to around 40 degrees to start off tomorrow morning. Mostly sunny conditions. Still a westerly wind to start, but as we go through the afternoon, more of a southwesterly flow that'll get temperatures back up to around 65 degrees and that's just the beginning of our warm-up I mean not to forget our normal high temperatures 51 degrees so even today we were slightly warmer than normal 65 tomorrow 69 on Wednesday we'll aim for 72 degrees Thursday afternoon as we get into Friday we'll have to start talking about the chance for some rain we'll do that in just a second but for the time being that 72 degrees that would be the warmest day that we've had since well, 126 days ago, November 9th, when the last time we had 72 degrees. Tonight, though, seasonable, if not a little warmer than normal tonight. We'll bottom out around 40 degrees under those mostly clear skies. I'm not going to completely get rid of the wind yet. Still a little breezy tonight with those westerly winds from 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow, winds stay a little breezy, maybe gusting up to 20 miles per hour, but not bad at all. Mostly sunny skies. I'll take 65 degrees and a nice... March breeze, and then we're going for near 70. 69 on Wednesday, 72 Thursday. There's that small chance for a few scattered showers into Friday. That will come with a cold front. Knocks temperatures down to near 60 on Saturday. More rain on Sunday, and then, well, still above normal, but not bad. 54 out there next Monday. Guys?